that pain lives where? Brain. What causes, what causes pain really? Is it tissue injury or is it brain function? Tissue injury may cause the process to begin, but it is the, when the, the pain signals reach the level of consciousness and our brain considers it important enough to pay attention to it, that we actually feel pain. Everyone clear on that? That's the neuromatrix theory of pain. We then, in Z, change it to the threat neuromatrix. Thankfully, that's catching on around the world. Uh, Ildi, you saw David Butler uh, a couple weekends ago, last he weekend. Last weekend. Was he talking about threat? Yes, he was. Yeah. Uh, Lorimer and David are talking a lot more about this. We're seeing threat neuromatrix ideas crop up more and more. What does the threat neuromatrix concept mean? It means that any threat in the environment that could be social, emotional, physical, could cause pain, right? And so basically, the way that I describe this to my, my clients is I draw a bucket, right? And I've got all these different things that are falling into the threat bucket, and there's an output spout, and it's not until the threats reach the level of the spout that we get the output of pain. It's a really, really easy way for your clients to understand it. So at the end of the day, if you're having back pain, your back pain may be a collection of anatomical issues in your low back, herniated disc, whatever, plus work stress, plus relationship stress, plus a bad diet, and then from a structural perspective, messed up eyes, an altered vestibular system, poor gut function, whatever. So do I have to get rid of all of those things? No, I just have to lower what? I have to lower the threat level so that I don't get the pain <coughs> input. Simple way to understand it, simple concept, and man, I tell you, my job is actually getting easier, not harder, over time. Because I'm not, I don't feel like the only person in the world saying this anymore. There are books and there are DVDs and there are people talking about this now.